I'm here in Fort Worth for the vet show, but the highlight of the trip was definitely meeting Ginger and going to Dewdrop Farm. Ginger first got in touch with me over two years ago for ultrasound equipment advice and I posted on the Dairy Goat ultrasound group the other day saying I'd be in Texas and would anybody want to meet up and she kindly invited me to her farm where she breeds Nigerian dwarf goats. Okay, I've told Ginger that we're leaving. Will you tell me to stay on the right? Okay. Well, welcome. How are you doing? <laughs> That's okay. Ginger runs her entire farm by herself with goats, chickens, cats, and a donkey. These prices, can you tell? I can tell. <laughs> her scan, I know I saw two. I don't know if she has a third hiding because I got her 54 days. Ginger had been curious to try a wireless probe but the real fun started when we took out the Apogee. The best sized probe for this type of goat, in my opinion, is the Microconvex probe. It's really small and maneuverable, but as well as that, it has high frequency, which means high resolution imaging. Oh, wow. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at those legs. Yes. You're fine. Okay. I just wondered what I was getting. Yeah, you found a nice, you found a nice sex there. Yeah. Yeah, I think there was one in there. Can you see anything? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, this one's nice. Yeah, and one there. So two for sure. Yeah. Maybe three. Yeah. Let me change. There's one. There's the heart. So we can put color over that. Oh. Don't like that. Now nah, she's feeding up. Oh, here she comes. <laughs> Hello. I'm not the one with the carrots. Come on, babe. Um, December would be 12 months. Oh, so it should be quite big. Yeah. Hi guys! How are you doing, Misty? Mabel, Mabel! Get up there! <laughs> Oops. We had such a wonderful afternoon on Ginger's farm. She thoroughly spoilt us with homemade food, wine, and lots of animals to scan. And at the end of it all, we went for a Texas-style dinner.